Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're using Karten des Lebens by Chuck uh, Spezzano. And this was a deck that I had my eye on for a while, but um, a follower of mine, uh, a client of mine, brought it to my attention and I was inspired. And so I got a copy of it and I've been using it for me personally lately. And I thought it would be really nice to actually use it on the channel. So today we have three options. We have the fox here. We have the snake, uh, which is pretty much, well, that's how it looks like. And we have the sloth. So it's option one, two, and three. Go ahead, make your selection, and we'll begin with the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the option, the fox, we are asking, what is it that we need to know? What is our weekly oracle card guidance? Oops, and there's a card that has come in already. I'm going to go ahead and pick another card. And there's another card here that feels like it wants to come out as well. I'm just going to place that here. So we have the number 49, which is Wutanfall, and it says Dunkle Geschichten. So basically, it's it's negative thoughts, or it's dark thoughts, and it's a dark story. It's struggling. It's being under pressure. It's being pushed under. It's having an intense um, an intensity about it, something in which you are struggling with. Um, an upset which has brought you down, an upset which has caused you to uh, make a break from your life, to cause in an upset in your life. And then we have the call, uh, the card here, Ewachen. Um, it's Highlander Geschichte, which is a healing, healing thoughts, healing the healing story, um, and it's awakening, it's seeing, it's growing, it's. Uh, allowing oneself to understand a greater reality. And then we have the card 64, which is also Highlander Geschichten, and it's frei von Sorgen, meaning free from worries, and just being able to come through this all. So what I'm feeling here, for those of you who've chosen the fox, is that you might have um, a kind of experience this week where you've been coming into the, you come into the week where you have a lot of difficulty, um, emotional difficulty, where you perhaps in grief or you mourning or you feeling shattered by something, or you feeling at odds with your life right now and with your environment. It could be that you have um, something that is, you know, like a, a health issue that's bringing you down, that's making you sad about yourself. It could be that you have had a loss of somebody quite dear to you recently and uh, the the message here is that um, whatever you're going through right now whatever it is that you're experiencing right now at this moment is there to help you grow it's there to help you to see things from a different perspective it's help it's kind of peeling off a layer and allowing you to have more information and greater knowledge and greater wisdom is gained from this time so allow yourself to go through what it is that this week presents you with and move ahead and you will find that at the end of this you will be free from pain and you will be free from the worries that you have or the mental anxiety that you've been presented with so if you are having some difficulties this week if you are having some kind of um, um, kind of mental gymnastics which are bringing you down um, taking up your 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 headspace just you know occupying you don't worry about it because ultimately you're going to grow from this experience and you are going to be free from worries you are going to be free after after this so it's just a moment in your life where you are experiencing this and where you need to work through some of what you're going through right now so i just want to go ahead and read a little bit uh, from what is written here from the author and it says uh, well i'm going to read it in in um, in German and then just explain it the best I can. 
um, from my limited German. Okay, so it says, ein Wutanfall ist ein Ort emotionaler Erpressung, ist eine Show, die wir benutzen, um gleichzeitig sowohl die Menschen in unserem Umfeld als auch uns selbst zu bestrafen. Er ist eine ungerechte Sanktion und wir versuchen auf eine unreife Weise die Kontrolle zu erlangen. Weil wir Schmerzen leiden, glauben wir jedoch das Recht dazu zu haben. An ein Wutanfall vergisst jede Kommunikation und nimmt falschliche Weise an, dass andere Menschen nur dazu da sind, sich um unsere Bedürfnisse zu kommen. Okay, so I'm gonna read, I'm just gonna stop there. And, and basically, you know, what it's saying is that um, what we should avoid doing is using this um, this moment that we have, whatever it is, whatever is going on around us right now, to bring the attention to ourselves only and to, to expect that others corral around us to be able to assist us in this. It's also talking about putting yourself under a sanction, so it were, to, to punish ourselves, P punishing yourself by this idea of what, what is going on around you. So it's, it's almost like saying, well, whatever is going on around you right now, do not use it so that it brings, it makes you into a victim. Do not use it so that it, it creates a victim out of you and that you lose your empowerment and it becomes about the show of showing how upset you are, how hurt you are and how um you know how uh, how much you are suffering but rather to to actually move beyond that space and to be able to um to to work towards what is the truth of this matter what, where is it that we need to go to with this what is actually happening right now and how are we um how are we affected by it how are we actually Uh, how does it really affect us and does it affect, does it affect us to the, to the degree that we think it affects us? Does it affect us to the degree that we need to change our emotional landscape, our emotional well-being to accommodate the situation? Or can we accept it as it is, for what it is, and move on without it taking from us? So you might have come, it might have been something that's occurred to, um, that has occurred for you during the weekend or at the beginning of this week, which actually uh, takes you off your path as you're used to. And it almost feels like you need now to redefine your path. You need to hang on to your path and stay your course without any of this drama that you are being confronted with, okay? So um, I feel like reading a little bit more here just to see what, um, what the author says with this card. Okay, he's also talking here about, you know, um, die Situation oder Gott zu kontrollieren. You know how are we trying to control uh, the situation he talks here about you know trying to like basically using the situation and controlling it so that it's you know making it longer making it longer or, or actually um, thinking that we are on a path in which we are, uh, are wise we are wise we are on, a, on some kind of path where we are um, we have greater understanding, but in fact, what we're doing is we are just controlling the situation, making it uh, longer than it needs to be, and so uh, and punishing ourselves in the process. So I feel like here um, that this is this is what this card is about. It's really about uh, putting oneself under more distress than is necessary. It's almost like the Eight of Swords card in the Tarot, where there is stuff going on around you. But you are feeling um, quite deterred or under pressure from all of that and uh, quite a victim uh, through your circumstances. So I feel here that whatever it is, you know, there is wisdom to be gained from it. There is wisdom to come through that. It's almost like you need to peel through a level of yourself to be able to allow yourself to move through that and 
ultimately what we need to be working through here and this week is to be free from worries is to be free generally is to be light is to not be bogged down with what's going on around us all right so i'm going to leave it there for you i hope that that's been a helpful um, analysis <laughs> and i hope it's going to help you as you go along in this week and i wish you a very blessed week and may you have the strength that you need uh, for whatever it is that you're going to be dealing with as you go along. All right, much love to you all and many blessings. So for those of you who've chosen the snake, uh, which is the second option here, we're asking, what is our weekly oracle card guidance? What is our weekly oracle card guidance? What is it that we need to know in this week? Oops, there's a card here that wants to come out already. It's Versagen. I'm going to go ahead and see if there's anything else that wants to come out. Oh, and we have Tantrische Kraft. And proje Projection. Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the option number two, we have three cards here. We have Versagen and we have Tantrische Kraft and we have Projection. So basically, Versagen is to fail, it's to, um, it's to retreat because of failure, it's to dwell in the misery of failure, it's to come to terms completely with failure and to, it's negative thought, it's a thought um, which is not empowering you, but it is uh, put, you know, holding you in a space which which doesn't allow you to be empowered either and i feel here that um in this week there might be something that makes you feel disappointed in yourself or it makes you feel like you failed it makes you feel like you just aren't able to make headway in the way that you needed to in the way that you want to in your life and you might have been trying all kinds of things to be able to make a life work uh for a moment and you haven't really been able to to, to make it work. It might be that it's just not working out the way you need it to work out. You're just feeling not as successful as you need to be feeling for the amount of effort that you are spending. And here the card Tantra Shukraft refers to actually uh, using Tantra as a means of understanding your empowerment or as a means to um, to empowering yourself further. And I feel that what this card means in this context is that what you've been doing until now is looking at things at face value um, and what you need to be doing is looking at it from another perspective in the way that Tantra is another perspective of sex in the way that that is the way in which you need to be looking at your situation right now because if you're looking at it too closely you're going to see it as failure and it's going to be you're going to be disappointed in yourself you're not going to be um, as encouraged by what's been happening or the response to, to your efforts. So the advice here is to look at things from a different perspective, is to take a step back and look at it from, um, from, a, from a godlish uh, perspective, sorry, a divine perspective, from a, from a heavenly perspective, so, so to say. And I think here that that is the healing, the healing thoughts, uh, the healing uh, story here for somebody who's going through this at the moment if that resonates with you i feel if this doesn't resonate with you here then i think what what we're talking about here is just being able to keep negative thoughts um at bay you know to keep it away from you to be able to move forth and to be able to go on a path where you're able to evolve quite quickly um on a on an energetic level on a spiritual level and I feel here there's a warning of how of projection of of seeing others as uh, being responsible somehow for your own uh, circumstance or for you know for looking at uh, maybe just going through a particular circumstance and then s saying to the other that that uh, they are going to through that kind of circumstance without actually looking at what their situation really is and. It feels to me that this kind of projection or this kind of behavior is really just to be able to feel um, more in control of a situation 
or to be able to understand oneself a little bit better, but it's not really helping you to. And so I think here the advice during this week is to actually um, allow yourself to develop further on a spiritual level um, with another way of doing things. And you know, one of the ways in which you might be able to do that is by um, embarking upon some kind of tantric exercise, um, quite literally speaking. And another way of doing it would be to to look at your thoughts and where you are. Your thoughts are serving to disempower you, as opposed to to help you awaken. I feel here also that you could run the risk of um, projecting onto others. Um, events that have happened to you in your life so you know if you've not been if you've lost your trust in a particular situation you might think that no one is trustworthy as a result and so there you're projecting your experience or your belief about um, people onto everyone even though that label doesn't fit everyone and so I think that here it's important to see where it is that you're projecting. It's important to see that. It's important to understand where your thoughts are actually inhibiting you from seeing the goodness in other people or allowing the goodness in other people to, to be there for you. I feel here uh, the, the card Tantrisha craft. It also, it's about understanding that there are different levels in life and understanding which level you want to operate on. And sometimes you could actually operate on a more base level or just doing things uh, day to day on the ground. Or you could be channeling things or working with the situation at hand on an energetic level and almost manifesting. It's almost using um, the power that you have in an alchemical way to be able to move and to change things for yourself. So, and I think prayer is a very um, interesting form of this. And so, you know, one has that at their disposal. One can always um, use that power to change one's life if only you understood that about yourself, if only you understood that you can do that. And so I feel like this card here is referring to the power that you have that is untouched and not, not yet used and where you can get so much further uh, with your life and and beyond this you know beyond feeling uh, like you failed or like you haven't been as successful as you needed to be and beyond blaming others for that or or seeing the reason for you for your situation in others and and simply just working towards using your energy in a way that you can empower yourself further not on a base level um, but more on, a, on an energetic level where you can understand the, the reasoning almost for uh, other activities. So if we were to use sex as an example here, to understand the reasoning around sex and to understand the, the, the pleasures um, with regard to sex, but also then to understand the energetic transfer with sex and to understand how much one gives and takes in the energetic world when when one is is about, is having sex so being able to understand the various different um, pleasures as well that can be experienced not just in terms of your physical pleasure but on in terms of your emotional as well as um, spiritual um, pleasure and I feel here that um, that this this card also talks about being able to overcome or use your sexuality in a way that uh, is more beneficial to you and not working against you. So it might be, it might, in some rare instances, it might also apply to people who are having difficulties with the image that they have of themselves as in, in, you know, sexually. And it might be that it's time for them to look at different ways of exploring their own sexuality. So being able to empower themselves through their sexuality is definitely one of the messages that I hear for you this week. I feel like I should draw another card for you because it feels to me like this message is incomplete in some way. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to go with this. Okay, so there's a card here that's talking about being an orphan. It's talking about actually, you know, feeling alone in the situation, feeling more and more alone, feeling forsaken, feeling 
um, like you need to figure it out by yourself and that there is no way um, out of this. I feel here that whatever it is that you are actually undergoing this week, whatever it is that you find yourself dealing with this week, it might be easier for you to feel alone and like you failed or like you haven't been able to do what you've needed to do and um, to be able to also project onto yourself an older version of yourself or a less efficient version of yourself perhaps or version of yourself that isn't always kind to yourself and um, I feel here that one of the things that you need to do with to be able to come out of this is simply to move through yourself move through yourself move through a different level of yourself and uh, use yourself use different avenues to be able to explore yourself better and to understand yourself better and as mentioned already perhaps tantra is a way to go here as well all right to be able to understand to be able to shift uh, certain energies because if these energies here are quite stuck and you're not able to shift then what's going to happen is that you uh, you're, you're going to need some assistance to be able to shift that you know if you if just you know thinking about it or talking uh, to yourself about it it's not going to move remove you from thinking of yourself as alone and and as an orphan in this world or as a failure um, or, or blaming others then it's going to you're going to need something else to help shift you out of that and some of the ways in which that, um, that could happen is by using energetic uh, work um, such as Tantra or such as um, you know um, craniosacral work or something like that that works with energy in order to move you all right Lomi massage maybe okay so I'm gonna leave it at that I hope I wish you a good week ahead and um, don't let any of your dark uh, uh, or negative thoughts get the better of you look for the light search for the light it is within you and you will find a way through this okay and um, if this doesn't doesn't resonate with you please go ahead and choose another option and hopefully the next option will resonate with you all right sending you much love and many blessings to you all have a good week and so for those of you who've chosen the sloth here we ask ourselves what is your weekly oracle card guidance what is it that you've come here to hear at this time what is it that you need to do at this moment? Okay, so this is for art. It's to betray. Um, it's the number 46. Oedipus. also wants to come out festgehalten that is a uh, festhalten meaning bound and we have a lösung which is the solution to it all Okay, so these are quite intense cards and I feel that here it might be that you're going through quite a difficult week. It could be a week in which you're feeling really um, trapped in a particular situation where you're feeling like you've betrayed yourself, where you're feeling you might, might have betrayed another, where you're feeling like you can't really move beyond a particular situation. So it's almost a feeling here of uh, betraying oneself, uh, not allowing oneself to grow feeling trapped feeling bound feeling held behind by a particular situation or by somebody or by a group of people or by an institution so there's all these feelings here about uh, not being able to help oneself because you're trapped not being able to move beyond a particular situation because you aren't um you just don't have the resources to you've been betrayed you've been betrayed by institution or your parents or people that you cared about and um, you know these were all the, the the darker thoughts or the 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 darker stories behind what's actually going on right now and I feel here that what we need to look at is the illusion which is the solution it talks about the solution being the way forward the the way 
out of this situation. And so I feel like this week, if you are feeling any of these things, and I hope that you aren't, I hope that you're not really feeling any of this, uh, but if you are feeling any of this, that the way forward is to actually find healing um, in in the resources that are available to oneself. So find healing in prayer, ask for help. Ask for, close your eyes and ask for help. Ask for the beings that are benevolent, that are good, to come forth to help you as you go through this time. It's um, ask for, for a solution, ask for a way out of this, ask for a way beyond that and beyond this and how to heal this. Ask for a way so that you aren't blocking yourself um, any longer and that you are able to move forth beyond a barrier to be able to get to a different stage in your life. I feel also here that there may be many events that have taken place in your life in the recent weeks which have changed things uh, quite dramatically or quite uh, in a way that you you would have you are a different person now or you've gone through so much that you've come to a different stage of your life. And it might be that you're not really where you want to be. It might be that you are somewhere else and that you find, need to find your way back to where you need to be. And um, the, I feel like in all of this, whatever is happening right now, it's just clouding your situation and you shouldn't allow yourself to be taken away from your path. You shouldn't be allow yourself to, um, to be drawn away from it. And there's a good chance that that can happen. There's a good chance that all of these things here can, can lead you to uh, betraying yourself or lead you astray from your path and you're not really doing what you need to do but it's almost like you need to fight that involves and go deeper in yourself or just pray for your for your well-being and focus on your well-being focus on your path so that you can get further here and, and get out of the situation and I feel that um, that any kind of um, stagnation that you're experiencing right now is just for now it's just for this week and next week things will start moving again and you don't need to be um you don't need to let any negative thoughts get the better of you this week just see it as being temporary because you can move from that to this quite easily it's just a, a matter of of changing one's perspective changing one's vibration just um understanding true worth understanding true abundance and understanding who you really are and so I feel here that if you are feeling bogged down by a particular set of circumstances or something that's happened or something about how you're feeling, then recognize that there is a solution within your, your grasp and that you can actually work towards that. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for the moment. I feel that um, if there is not too much to say here aside from that you need to, uh, to actively work at uh, hiring your vibration, keeping your thoughts positive, working towards a healing vibration and uh, and ensuring that you can actually get to where you need to uh, in, in that, all right? And I feel that that is what is necessary right now. I feel also here that, you know, if you feel like you haven't been able to get along uh, to where you need to faster or you haven't been, you've been cheated from something that you needed to have and uh, you've been blocked by something that you needed to have. Perhaps your parents have blocked you by, in, by doing something. Uh, or perhaps there's somebody who represents an in institution that's blocked you. Um, that Because of that, you don't need to feel like you, like you need to, to be that. Because you've, you've become something as a result of, of past circumstances in your life. It doesn't mean that you actually need to, to uh, obey that feeling and surrender to that, you can actually move beyond that and you can actually create the solution that you want in your life and and create the life that you desire or create the headspace rather, the mental space that you desire because I feel here that this is what that's about. It's about being able to uh, redefine your thoughts and redefine your experience as a result and release all of these things, release all of that because there's no need for it the moment there's no need for it it's time for for newness and for um for you to come into a new path where your all you dream of is possible and your solutions are readily available all right so that's my take on this and i hope that's helped you in some way
I wish you a very good week as you go along and I hope um, that you are staying safe and healthy and well and um, many blessings to you all. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.